Like, There's like, a protest. Is there a, yeah, or like a marriage proposal. Like it sounds like she's like proposing to someone. What's up, Pea Nation? Today is the second to last day of our great big vacation. And we're in Stockholm, Sweden. So today we're gonna go into the city and check out their free museums. But first... We're gonna show you how ridiculously close the subway station is to our old Airbnb. <laughs> It looks like you like press on the, like do the be a name here or something, press on and be like, excuse me, that baby is coming in. I don't know. <laughs> pieces we were talking about and apparently there's art just scattered all over the city. Okay, so we were in the central station trying to show you all the artwork, but there's just like too many things going on. There's all these different platforms, there's all these people traveling, there's all these people helping these people traveling. Normally when we go places, there's not like hired employees to help you find where you're trying to go. But here, there are people everywhere like asking like, do you need help, do you need help, do you need help? So we're trying to find the artwork, but it's like, there are too many levels to this place to find it. <laughs> yeah, we started like two levels down and now I've gone four levels down. So. <laughs> I don't know. We found it. If you're ever at the T Central Station in Stockholm, look for the blue line and you'll find the art. So a lot of the train stations actually have artwork from people. And if they don't have artwork, they are painted very elaborately. So that's why we're here. Just like that, one stop later, we have made it to the... Old Town. We're gonna walk through and then get to the museums. churches in Stockholm you have to pay like a three to seven dollar fee to get into just because but this one's free and that's really really cool and you see this triangle behind me Illuminati and across the hall from the chapel is where you can buy your tickets to tour the actual royal palace where the royal family used to live but like we said before there are free museums so that's where we're going
National Museum. We're not sure what's inside, so let's go check it out. is super cool however this is like the creepiest artwork I've ever seen in a museum so we're in this grand atrium and we just want to point out that they have tapestries and that is Zach's favorite form of art it's just like I know painting is cool but to take all of the time to sew together all of these different colors and like press it press it and press it to actually make a design and make a piece of artwork. Normally these take seven to ten years, so anytime I see one that's old, I'm like, oh my gosh, because it took someone seven years to make that carpet. Do you see the resemblance? This is the one I think we see the resemblance. with me and the block and now we can't get our bags because we can't get into our locker. We can't get into our locker so I have to go find somebody to let us in. I have to probably explain to them what was in there. It's a whole mess. Thanks Zach. You're welcome. So I had to go up to reception and they're sending someone down here to help us. But I was checking out the other ones just in case we forgot where our locker was. From here to this one. So the lady was trying her special trick on it and it didn't work. So maybe it's just broken. Maybe it's not Zach's fault after all. We got our stuff. Okay, so we are leaving the National Museum now and we talked to the front desk lady and she said that apparently There are eight museums that are free. So we eight. do not have enough time to do all those, but if it was winter we would definitely try, but it's yeah. so nice outside that it's not going to happen. So we're about to go to the Modern History Museum that's across the bridge and through this island that has all these trees. It's going to be a really nice walk. Can't wait to show you. Because we're just trying to have a snack, just like walking through this park, and all of a sudden we hear this lady yelling at us, and we're like, what is going on? And then I like, I'm like There's a protest. Is, is there a, yeah, or like a marriage proposal. Like it sounds like she's like proposing to someone. And she sounds angry, I don't think it's so. It's from this tree. It's just like, it's an art installation of someone yelling at everyone walking by in a tree. Modern art. We just walked across the island, and now we're at the Modern Museum. Yeah. It's already feeling really out there compared to all the traditional things we just witnessed. I feel like Scandinavian art is very just like super cool. Yeah, forward you know? thinking. Right. So this museum is actually quite exciting because like, you know, modern art breaks the barrier of what you think art is going to be. So the first exhibit we're going to see is how they make video games, Swedish video games. Okay, and that's it from the Modern Art Museum. It was pretty small. 
I thought it was gonna be a little bit bigger, but cool. yeah, it was interesting. Okay. We couldn't show you a lot of things because it was like all video format. Yeah. So you like watch a video, you put pieces concepts. in your ears, yeah, and just like different like alternative reality type stuff. Mm -hmm. But it was overall really cool. And okay. now we're gonna try and take some ferries across to the other island. Okay, so we just made it to the ferry terminal and we're looking across the water and there's this gigantic theme park. And it's making me think of the competitor of Stockholm, which is Copenhagen. And they actually opened the first theme park that inspired Disneyland, later Disney World. I was wondering if this theme park was built at the same time. Okay, so we just made it to the end of the line. However, we gotta get back on the same boat. I hope we can make it in time. They made us like walk all the way out Why here. Why did you do this time? <laughs> So we just made it to the amusement park island and we learned that... It's the same thing as the, the park in Denmark. It's called Tivoli. It's owned by the same people, so that makes sense. And they had this bar that's called Mamma Mia The Party, which makes a lot of sense. At first it didn't, but now I realize Abba's from Stockholm. Speaking of Abba, here's the museum. However, it is not free, so we are not going to that museum. And no, this no. concludes... Oh, that's really Sorry. good. <laughs> Anyways, this concludes our day. We went to the museum, we saw everything for free. We used our pass to get on a bus, and a plane, nope. and a train, yep. and a boat. Yep. And speaking of trains, this is our last train right here. It has been wonderful to have you guys with us. Thank you so much for exploring Stockholm with us. We're really excited for tomorrow. Yes. It's our last day here. It's like, I had no idea the Swiss Royalty had this much influence over the Swedish. entire Swedish. 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 Let's go to the bloopers.